Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. In this short video lecture, I will guide you for RCC column design with footing size and its steel reinforcement, which is designed for four-story commercial building. If you need house planning, structural drawing, 3D animation for any type of building, so you can contact me on this WhatsApp number. This is paid services, not for free, guys. You can see clearly. This is my whatsapp number this is paid services if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building next guys you can see this is rcc column so first of all i will uh, guide you for footing f3 footing number three so here uh, we have also some notes so let me guide you for that note note clear cover for footing is three inches for all sides next hooks should be provided as per table of and standard hooks on sheet number four okay i will guide you for that but i will tell you that the hooks length should not be less than three inches guys you can see here uh, normally if you see the first one this is footing okay so in footing details the size of the footing is six feet and four inches by six feet and four inches six feet and two inches six inch two inches by six feet and two inches this is square footing inside this guys you can see this is rcc column which size is here 13.5 inches by 13.5 inches this is size of column next guys you can see it's steel reinforcement details guys you can see we used here half inch diameter or you can say 12 millimeter die of steel rod with the spacing of 150 mm or 6 inches center to center. So main bars in distribution bar spacing is 6 inches. And we used 12 millimeter dia of steel rod or half inch or you can say 4 suter. Okay. Guys here we have singly mesh and doubly mesh. It depends on the structure design and structure load. If you see here guys uh, we have uh, different size of footings. So this one if you see uh, the one is 8 feet. Look, look here, this is for 8 feet and this is for 6 feet and 2 inches. All side, uh, uh, the, the other side we have the 3 inch con concrete cover on all sides. So therefore, the, with concrete cover, this is 6 feet and eight, 8 inches. Without concrete cover, this is 6 feet and 2 inches as you can see here in this section on plan. Next guys, you can see this footing section is this one. You can see the steel reinforcement half diameter or half inch diameter with the spacing of six inches which you can see here next guys you can see the bit uh, first of all uh, we did pcc as you can see pcc is plain cement concrete with the ratio of 148 inside this you can see and the thickness of this pcc is three inches and the bit depth is 18 inches this is singly mesh we don't have double mesh here that's why because its structure load is uh, less than uh, compared to this one therefore we have double mesh after the bit depth is the other one is 18 inches to the nsl natural surface level okay next guys you can see this is its steel reinforcement and this is the column if you see the other one which size uh, is here seven feet eight feet with concrete cover without concrete cover seven feet and six inches because two side we have left side and right side we have three inch concrete cover as you can see we have double mesh in W mesh, we have 3 inch concrete cover for all side. Bottom spacing is 6 inches. The dia is 12 millimeter or half inch. And the top mesh diameter is half inch or 12 millimeter with the spacing of 18 inches. Look here. Next, the bed depth is 18 inches. PCC is 3 inches. And from the bed depth to the NSL, this is also 18 inches. As you can see, the details are same. Only this is W mesh. And the size of the footing and uh, its steel reinforcement are changed from each other because this is singly mesh and this is double mesh. If you see guys here, this is footing one. Okay. And this one you can see this is footing one also. So footing one, uh, we have in other page I will guide you. So uh, the footing uh, one you can see that is this one, the spacing, etc. Everything is same. Next guys, you can see these uh, columns or footings are connected by these uh, steel reinforcement, which is singly mesh, which length is five feet. Here you can see again, uh, uh, this is also five feet and eight inches. This is also five feet. This is also five feet. So we have different types of footing. And as, as you can see here, uh, footing, footings you can see clearly. These are the details. So now let me guide you for its column. Guys, you can see the column size is 13.5 inches by 13.5 inches we have eight numbers 
steel rods okay we have total eight numbers of steel rods the dia guys you can see three by four which is called 16 millimeter guys you can see here uh, that's why because we have two section this is lapping section therefore inside you can see the hollow uh, steel reinforcement you can see for overlapping this is section a guys you can see the section a and this long section and this is section b this is section a and you can uh, take the detail from here the size is 13.5 inches by 13.5 inches so therefore we have eight numbers of steel rods here and the dia is 16 so uh, uh, you can say uh, this is uh, six suter okay or normally you can say that is uh, also uh, its ring size or lateral tie which is three suter or you can say normally this is 10 millimeter with the spacing of three inches look at here three inches center to center okay so here we have three inches at section a if you see the section b the spacing is also three inches you can see the lapping other steel are connected for the lapping the size is same steel reinforcement everything is same next guys you can see this is column c detail if you see guys the column c details are here this is first floor this is slab and this is beam you can see the steel reinforcement uh, the lateral tie spacing etc this is a splice length or you can say this is lap supply uh, place lapping length and the lapping length should not be less than 60d or 50d the total height of this column is from the uh, floor level to the top roof that is 10 feet uh, 11 feet and 6 inches you can see clearly this is slab this is beam this is roof you can see everything in detail this is the other column size is same guys and we have same numbers of steel rods these are the details this is column c1 and this is also column c1 details etc next guys you can see this is column 2 we have here guys also eight numbers of steel rods and that i you can see you can see this is 16 millimeter or six suter you can say because uh, six suter is 16 millimeter okay next guys you can see its detail etc this is c section and here this is a uh, ground floor etc this is footing details everything is okay here in this so clear cover is 1.5 inches for uh, this concrete hooks you can see which are bent on 135 degree which length should not be less than three inches and the hooks should be provided on 135 degree okay so these are this column detail next guys let me guide you before this uh, let me guide you for the chair detail you can see guys this is chair chair are placing under the raft foundation or you can say are the footing it's depend uh, uh, that it should be maintained these chairs maintain the spacing uh, of uh, footings steel reinforcement and also it can uh, give you the uh, the, the proper uh, place for uh, especially main bars and distribution bars okay and it should be provided with the minimum uh, 1.5 meter okay you can put our it's depend on also on the uh, site uh, requirements okay so guys these are some important details for the uh, rcc column with footing different types of footing, uh, footing and columns and also the chair details hope this short video can help you Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.